What's going on guys? Today I'm excited to bring you a quick tutorial on how to install single player commands for Minecraft. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the automated installation version for your Mac. If you click on the annotation on the screen right now that says manual installation, that'll take you to a video on how to manually install it, where you find your bin and you drag the files in there if the automated version does not work. But the automated version is very easy, very fast, and very simple if you just follow my instructions. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. So you're going to want to go down into the description, click on the link, and come to the single player commands Minecraft form. Once you're here, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit past this here video, and where it says click uh, download autom automated installation preferred and alternate. You're going to want to hit preferred so you can support him. It'll take you to an ad fly link like the one you were just in, and you're going to want to skip the ad. So once the five seconds is up, you're going to hit skip that, and it should download it. Okay, so I went back to the form, but once it is done downloading, you're going to want to get it and drag it onto your desktop, or, you know, yeah, just find it, but I want it on my desktop. Once it's on your desktop, open it on up. Once you open it up, you're going to see right here that it says slash users, slash users, or whatever your name is, that may be like slash user slash Joe, slash user slash, it may be different for you, but it should have something along these lines. One of those users may actually be your name or a name. Uh, slash library slash, app, slash application support slash Minecraft. Now, that should work. You should just be able to hit install. But before I tried this out, before I made the tutorial, I tried this out. It didn't work for me. Now, I was wondering why. Now, if any of these are different, like you have changed the names, this is just default. If your name is, if, if you go on your computer and it says user slash user slash library slash application support slash jack, you know you've, there's something wrong there. So, um, bottom line is, try this out. If it doesn't work, then do what I'm about to do. This, so this just kind of check to make sure it's going to work. You're going to want to open up Finder, and you're going to want to find, oh no, excuse me. You're going to want to click up here and hit go. Go to folder and type in squiggly slash library and then hit go. Once you do that, um, just make sure it says this. So up here, as you can see, it says capital L library. Capital L library. Okay, so that checks. Application support. Application support. Okay, that's the same thing. Slash Minecraft. Slash Minecraft. Or Minecraft. Okay, that worked. When I was here originally, I had renamed it, because I'm a little, you know, OCD like that, and I like my things named. I had named it this, with a capital M. That makes the difference. It's a huge difference. It won't work. It's a difference between a working and not. So if your Minecraft is different, or your library is different, and you renamed it, which is fine, you're going to want to A, browse, or B, just change it back. I just changed it back, because I really don't care that much. Okay, so once you see that all that is checked, then you can hit install. As you can see, I hit install. By the way, you, I usually don't have those checked because I don't really care. I don't need to back up my Minecraft. And as you can see, it worked. The start Minecraft button doesn't work for me, so I just open up Minecraft. And as you can see, I opened up Minecraft, and I hit login, and it works. No errors. It doesn't stop loading. Now let's just go to this world I just made like 30 seconds ago. And as you can see, it says single player command, single player commands, 4.0. Okay, now ignore this wooden axe I have. Okay, now I'm going to prove to you that it works besides the obvious, you know, text that works. Okay, so I made this earlier, but they, single player commands, if you go to the form, it's not as good as it used to be because 1.3.2 is a lot more complex than the older versions. So he had to, if you read up here, he's been working on it, he had to rewrite it, it was a mess for him. But you know what, he got it back up and he got world edit working and that's really all I care about is world edit. So what world edit is, here's just a little example. If you go if you go to the command prompt so you can type, type slash slash wand and it gives you this fancy axe right here. And you can go like this. You can go, let's just say, click right there, go over here, click right there, and then you go slash slash set as, I don't know, let's go um, no, that won't work. Let's just go, whatever, let's just go with stone. And boom, makes it stone. Now, yeah, so that should prove to you that it works. Um, I'm not going to really explain to you how to use the mod, just because you know, that would take a while. 
and that's not what this tutorial is about. This is how to install it. But I'm just going to show you another thing you can do, just because I'm kind of excited. I just got it too. So you can also do the same thing. Click there, pop down, click there, and it says slash uh, stone. Oh, nice, nice wall. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for today. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial I just whipped up right now. Um, please like the video if it did work and it did help. And once again, there'll be an annotation on the screen right now on the manual version on how to install it if this did not work. Because the manual version is pretty much flawless if you follow my instructions dead on. Alright, guys. Once again, thanks for watching. I really hope this helped. I hope you're excited as I am about this installation. And have a wonderful day. Alright, guys. Peace.